Hey guys, this is Morgan here. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use TI Connect with the TI D4 Plus. Now, there are two ways you can do it. Um, I'm going to show you one way. The first way is with the new version of TI Connect. I believe it's called TI Connect CD. And you use it with a USB Type B cable. They both go in this, the top of the calculator. Um, but the version I'm going to show you is with the legacy version. It works on a lot of different versions of Windows from XP all the way up. Now, you have to run in compatibility mode with Windows 10, so I'm going to be showing it on a virtual machine. But the way I'm going to show you is with this cable. It has this weird 2mm headphone jack looking thing, and it has this thing in the middle. It's this thing in the middle. I have a link to it in the description. And it also goes in the top of the calculator. It goes in right here, and the other end goes in your computer. So here we are in the virtual machine. Uh, here's the install file. And it's, it's pretty simple. You just need to keep pressing next, accept the agreements, uh, and install. And I guess while it's installing, you can uh, plug in the calculator. And it is installed. I'm going to delete this here. And I am plugging in my calculator. Okay, I have it plugged in. We could start up the program. Uh, first of all, I'll show you how to do is the device explorer. And it'll ask you to select your device. And you can see it here. Just press select. And it'll show you all the files you have on there. And I've got a lot of files here because I've had this calculator for a while. I've done a lot of things with it. Like here, you can look at your applications. Um, I've got Mirage OS, uh, your groups, and your pictures, your programs, and then protected programs. Basically, the programs that are archived, which is pretty much every program on here because I don't like to accidentally delete anything. Here's the screen capture, which allows you to capture the screen. You just do something on it. It'll capture anything that is on the screen. Like right now, I am typing 878 into Y1. And you say, get screen. And you can see we are in the Y equals screen and it says 878. So you can pretty much do a lot of things. Um, it might not work with some of the games just because it in might interfere with the capture program, but it should work with most things. Virtual machine had a little moment there, but if you want to save it, you just click the floppy disk and you pick where to save it. And you have a bunch of different file formats here. Say BMP, uh, we'll close out. I believe it went in here. Uh, I already saved some stuff, so I believe this is it. So yeah, here it is. Back over here, we can send a file over. Uh, you can click Browse. See if I can find where the file is. Here we go. Is a game called Egypt, and it should ask you what calculator to send it to. But since we already messed with it earlier, it's probably set already. But you can just click Select Device just to be sure, and see Select. And you can set a few things here, like whether you want it to be in RAM or in your archived memory. I'll just leave it in the RAM, and I'll say Send to Device. And it will send over. The screen may go blank on the calculator while it's going. But yeah, that is just part of the process. This is relatively small file, so it should go pretty quickly. And yeah, you can see it already exists. So I guess I'll replace it. This is just because I've done this a couple times. But yeah, it is transferring. So yeah, it is done. You can also make a backup just cool because it makes a backup of everything you pick here 
and it'll make it into a file. I'm not going to do it here because I have a lot of stuff, but you pretty much press OK and it makes it into one file. I believe it's .tig. But most apps and programs should be .8xi or .8xp or something like that. It won't really accept most other files. You can go device info. Probably tell you about the calculator. Uh, if my virtual machine will behave. Okay, we need to select the calculator again. And here it is. It will tell you a, a bunch of different things. Okay. After about 30 seconds, we can see here um, it gives us a bunch of important information if you if you want to update your operating system or stuff like that. And it even tells you whether your batteries are at a good level or not, which is something that I think is good to know, especially when I'm in math class. I don't want to be like in the middle of a test and like it's like the batteries are low and I have to go and use a school calculator. So yeah, cool thing to check every once in a while. Um, you can see your applications and your ID, which I'm not sure what that's for, but I guess it's like a serial number. So that is mostly what you can do with the regular TI Connect. Let's go back to the calculator and see the game we have just put on. Okay, I'm holding this with one hand though, but I'm going to show you the program that I just got on. So it is a program for Mirage OS, so I need to go to Mirage OS, and it's called Egypt. I'm not going to play for very long, but you can see that it works here. I believe I'm in the level editor. Here's the actual levels, but you can see that it works. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.